Hey guys, it's Brian with Center Councils Only here. We're on the Sailfish 290cc. This is a production boat, but it's actually got a lot of amenities, a lot of features, a lot of family guys, a lot of fishing guys are gonna love. I wanted to go ahead and give you a walkthrough and show you every little inch of this boat. See if, uh, if you guys like it as well. So we start at the bow. We notice this one has a windlass and it has the Lumar control right there as well. Real simple. Up here you'll notice this not only has the U-shaped seating, but it, all ha it also has a removable table with integrated cup holders. So that's a really nice feature. You can never have too many cup holders or storage on a boat. And speaking of storage, if we look up under the starboard side, just like the port side, there is a ton of storage that goes all the way up to the bow there. So we come back here, we've got more storage. This is a dry storage there. So we've got forward seating in this particular model with a cooler underneath it. So it's a standard cooler doubling as seating, which gives you just more space to take more people out on the boat with you. In here behind the console, we've got, we've got a head, plenty of rod storage space. You've got tons of drawers, little nooks, little crannies, places to get your stuff out of the way and safe uh, out of the elements, which is absolutely nice. This particular model has a couple of captain's chairs, which is great. In this class of boat, you know, captain's chairs usually don't happen, so it's a really nice feature that Sailfish put in here. Also has armrests, which are very nice when you're running long ways. We've got a footrest here with integrated storage, also access to your charger. Go ahead and get that down. So at the helm, we've got our standard switching trim tab control fusion head unit that is connected to a wet sounds sound system. Uh, we've got a very clean dash here, room for two screens, probably 12 inch or so. We've also got this awesome storage with charging. Again, I love storage. Keep things out of the way, keep it safe, keep it out of the elements. Another little spot for storage right here, just in case you have some keys or something you wanna to toss in there. If we look up at the hard top, we've got a bag here for more storage. You could put life vests in there or other items that need to dry off. We've got more storage way up here. We've also got our Garmin VHF up there as well. Little pockets for storage, foot rests, and in this particular one, it's got a helm pad. I love that. Keep your feet happy. As we move back, we've got this little station here. It's a great feature is to have this sink here, cup holders, and a leaning post live well. That is a very sizable live well, being the leaning post. Now this 29 has pretty good cockpit space. We've got two fish boxes on either side, port and starboard, so that's a really nice feature. We've also got rod holder storage, both port and starboard. We've got transom seating, and I'm gonna do my best to get this up in the first shot, which isn't difficult considering this seat is very easy to operate. Any one person can do it without needing any help. We've got a rod holder storage on the back. We've also got cup holders and jump seats. I believe this side has a jump seat as well that is currently stowed away. But you've also got access to your dive door here as well. Let's go ahead and lock it out. This particular unit is powered by twin 300 Yamahas. That's the max power on this boat. It's got a length of 28 foot, six inches, and a beam of nine feet on her. She's got max horsepower of 600, and I believe it was 275 gallons of fuel. Guys, this is Brian with Center Consoles Only. Five minute drill. If you like this video, please subscribe and make sure to check us out on Instagram at Center Consoles Only.